The quadriceps group is made up of four muscles. We have the deep layer with vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and vastus lateralis. Most superficially, we have the rectus femoris muscle. The reason why they're considered a group is because they all have the same uh, common action, which is to extend the knee. What makes it very interesting is they all have the same common insertion point as well. All the muscles will attach to the patella via the patellar tendon, from the patella to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. When we look at anatomical terms, anything that connects muscle to bone is considered a tendon, and what connects bone to bone is considered a ligament. When we look specifically at origin insertion, vastus medialis is origin, is from the intertrochanteric line and the upper one half of the linea aspera, attaching into this medial aspect via the patellar tendon, and then from the patella to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament with the fiber direction. Vastus intermedius is right in the middle, which attaches from the intertrochanteric line down to the patella inserting into the patella via the patellar tendon from the patella to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. Vastus lateralis is actually one of the largest muscles that we have that sits on the lateral aspect of our thigh. Its origin is the intertrochanteric line as well as the greater trochanter and the length of the lateral aspect of the linea aspera. That fiber direction goes from posterior to lateral to anterior to insert into the patella via the patellar tendon, from the patella to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. Those three are the deepest layer. That's vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis. Superficially to that is the rectus femoris, and rectus femoris originates off the anterior inferior iliac spine. Also, the lateral aspect, just superior to the acetabulum. And this muscle is wide and flat, comes straight from the anterior surface of the thigh, attaching to the patella via the patellar tendon, from the patella to the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. And when they all engage together, they do knee extension. So when I engage this muscle, you can see the muscle belly here. Rectus femoris also assists in flexion of the hip. That's our review of the quadriceps group.